Hello, my name is Sean McMahon. Hi, I'm David Corbett from Grassland Agro. So in the first of the Soil Health videos, we talked about soil compaction and its effect on production on farm. In the second video, we talked about soil compaction and its effect on nutrient availability. And today we're going to talk about clover, trying to establish clover and the key steps and benefits in, in trying to ensure that you have persistency of that clover. So Sean, clover, a very, very topical at the moment. It's topical at the minute, but it's not really a new innovation as such. It's been about a long time, there's a lot of research on it. With uh, policy and, and the fertiliser register creeping even closer, uh, farmers are going to have to spread and rely on less chemical nitrogen. So we need to be innovative and we need to come up with, with strategies or certain change or certain management practices to be able to deal with that and maintain our output with, with having less inputs. Whenever clover gets established, it can actually fix nitrogen from the atmosphere. So in the, in, in the atmosphere there could be 60, 70, 80% nitrogen and what the, what the clover plant can actually do is it can take that nitrogen from the atmosphere, fix it and turn it into a plant available form. So it can reduce the farmer's reliance on the bagged fertiliser. This is super farm that we're on here in Palace Henry today. Really, really high output of grass growing, 16.1 tonnes of grass, uh, very high grass utilisation rates and I suppose a huge emphasis on growing grass and a huge emphasis on, on soil fertility and improving our soil structure. So Derek has, has, has put a plan in place for this farm to, to, to sort out the soil fertility issues that they had in the past. They've achieved that, they have a super farm, a super fertile farm here now at the minute, but it's, it's been managed and a plan was put in place and, and they're continuing to do that. And that's why, that's why Clover's gonna work on this farm. And Derek O'Donoghue, the principal here in, in Palace Henry Agricultural College, is running a very simple system here. As you said, the soil fertility is, is, is at optimum now, uh, and it makes things very easy uh, in, in deciding uh, where to go with that clover. So Sean, we're going to delve into the soil. Um, we're going to look at that clover uh, seed that has been um, stitched in two weeks ago and, and see what's going on. So David, we often talk about the three pillars of soil health, which is the soil chemistry, the physical, and the biology. Chemically, the soil fertility in this farm is excellent. Physically, we'll turn the soil in the moment. And the biology, fizzlet has been applied today on this farm to sort of prom promote the clover establishment because calcium is very important for the nitrogen fixing bacteria and for establishing and maintaining that soil surface pH. Yeah, and, and as you said, Shawnee, the, the soil fertility in this farm is, is top notch. But one other factor that's very important and it's it, it is forgotten about and it's not looked at is, is the is the structure because if the structure is poor there um, trying to get those um, be it grass seed or, or clover in this scenario get that to, to germinate but, but also get it to tiller and also the stolons get, getting them working they're all working in tandem so if, if any one of those is restrict, restricted it's going to create poor establishment so the roots is what takes up the nutrients from the soil so if we have poor structure if we're limiting root development we're limiting the potential of the crop yeah yeah and, and, and that's the key with clover, Sean, is, is those rhizobia. We, we need to get the nodules developed and get the rhizobia working. So this clover was stitched two weeks ago. This clover is not going to be working or, or fixing nitrogen um, until 12 months time. And that's how long it takes for the, for the stolons to develop, for the nodules to develop, and for the rhizobia to actually start working. So you're talking about 12 months, Sean, so it's a, a long-term job, but it's very important that the farmer establishes that correctly and gets it going. And, and you can see the soil fertility is, is obviously good. The grass base on this is too, so minor bit of compaction. It's not, you wouldn't worry too much about it, and, and I suppose that is partly why fizzlet has been applied in, in order to try and maybe counteract that bit of compaction and mainly trying to get that clover um, established. What's important now, like what sort of covers or what's the grazing, what's the fertiliser requirements mid-season? The cover here today, Sean, is probably about a thousand kilos of dry matter per hectare. Derek's plan is, is to come grazing here in the next two to three days, growing approximately 85 kilos of dry matter per, per day at the moment. Derek is aiming to graze these paddocks at approximately 11, 1200 cover and, and the key with that is that the, the clover is getting every opportunity to establish and it's getting area you know so it's getting sunlight into the base which is key to try and drive on that establishment. What's the story say with year one after stitching in and then for next year? Yeah so year one Sean you're, you're talking about a conventional nitrogen program your clover is not going to be fixed in nitrogen so you need to apply as normal as a grass ward. Year two then so this time next year the farm here in Palace Henry 
can start to reduce their, their nitrogen on those clover swords. From May onwards, reducing back to seven units per, per round, seven units of nitrogen throughout the summer period. And that's key. So you have the potential to re reduce your nitrogen input by 100 kilos of nitrogen per hectare, which is a sub substantial saving given the, the price of, of fertilizer in the current times. So David, it's going to be really interesting to keep track of this. We've applied Fizzlet, we're given the best chance of getting it established. And once we get an established crop, uh, it's just really all about management thereafter. Yeah, management is going to be key, Sean, uh, going forward with establishment, and it's going to be um, absolutely crucial for, for pers persistency of those grass clover swords. So if anyone wants to get in touch with us, whether it's in relation to establishing clover on your farm or the new clover product and clover range, get in contact with your local grassland agro-agronomist.